It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a bright suit. All right, so we've just gotten some really cool pictures of the new Superman, James Gunn's Superman movie. So we've got a really good, solid look at the costume now. And I've got to say it is much better, a much better view than what we got in the original sort of teaser photo. So there's a lot of things that I really, really like about this suit that I'm seeing so far. Uh, there's a few things that I'm not so sure about, but let's get into it. So I'm, it is like 3.30 in the morning here and I couldn't sleep. So I went on to like Facebook and I saw the pictures and I was like, nah, I got to do this right now. I've got to do this right now because I'm very excited about it. So it woke me up all the way. So huh, coffee. All right, so let's look at this. We've got our, our second look of David Cornsweat in this suit. So right off the bat, it's a much better light. We can see it's a very bright suit. Now, I, again, we don't know. This is, this is just a sort of set piece. It is behind the scenes. We don't know what the color grading is going to be. So take that with a grain of salt. But I feel like they wouldn't go out of their way to make it this bright if they weren't going to show it off to be this bright. So that tells me that potentially that first look that we saw might have been a battle damage suit or just the lighting, right? So just going from, from the suit, so we've got it, it's really bright, real nice colors, uh, reminds me of, of old school Superman, like Christopher Reeve, uh, you know, classic comics. Now the cape is sort of tucked into the shoulder area here rather than the neck, which I found interesting. Um, it's, it's kind of, it's, it is, it is sort of a very 52 look, right? It's a DC 52 look, especially with the, the suit itself. You see all the details and the line work and the contouring. It's, it gives 52 like a lot. Um, and the material, it's almost, it's almost like a synthetic material. It is, it's not, it's definitely not, I don't think it's fabric-y clothy, fabric clothy, by the way. Um, it, it looks like let in. I don't know if it's leather. You know, it actually reminds me of um, if you've ever, if you were, if you were ever a kid. Of course, you were ever a kid. But there was a, a costume. It was like a Ruby's costume. I think it was like a Batman suit, and it was real. It was like, it was like a faux. Leather. It was like a latexy, rubbery thing. That's almost what this reminds me of, but not quite. I can't put my finger on it. I know I've seen this kind. Wow, this type of material before, but I, I can't put my finger on it, but it's definitely not, I don't think it's cloth. Um, so it's a really interesting look. Now the briefs are separate piece, so they're not, they're not sort of, they're not sort of um, uh, part of the suit itself, as in some of you who have, might have seen some of Jay's comic art stuff, like he, he does these, con not, not that he works with the movies, but he does these concepts where the briefs are actually part of the suit and it's just a coloring where this, the briefs are definitely separate. Um, the, the suit is not quite form fitting and you can really tell that speaking about the briefs in a couple of the photos where there's a bit of bunching if, if he's not standing properly. And so it's not, it doesn't form fit. So it's like, it is, it is an interesting choice. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Uh, it is an interesting choice to not have it fit perfectly and that if he is standing in a certain way that it does bunch up. And it's not really, it's not that it bunch up, it just folds over and it, um, it almost looks, it almost looks like foam cosplay when you're standing that way. So I'm not sold on that yet. Not that I have to be sold on anything. Uh, so the belt buckle, uh, the belt buckle, the belt, is really nice. It's basically, it's got the the buckle, which is, it's kind of an amalgamation of the 52, but also there's, there's another one that I've seen and I can't recall the version. I was trying to find it, but it has this similar shape. And I feel like in my mind, it's actually like a, a gold, actual gold buckle. I've seen it in, in, a, in, a, in an animation. Uh, wow. It's like four o'clock in the morning. I can't speak. So I do like the belt. I do like the belt. Um, it, it does match the suit, which is cool. So I'm, I'm enjoying that. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's, that's the suit. 
Uh, we didn't get a really good look at the boots, but we sort of saw the boots in the first picture anyway. So just imagine that, but you know, brighter. So they are a bit DC 50 Huey. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see more of the shots of this suit. I think it'll be, it'll be really interesting to see how it plays out. I'm interested to see where the origins of the suit are. Did, are they, are, is it Kryptonian? Did Mama Kent make it for him? I'm going to guess by the look of it, it's going to be a Kryptonian suit that came with him. Um, but that's our, that's our sort of second look at the new Superman movie suit. Really exciting times. We've, we've gotten some awesome set photos already. Now this. So I feel like in drips and drabs, it's going to start coming faster and faster and faster. And I mean, we are about a year away from the release. So I'm going to guess that in about... I'll be surprised if we don't get some sort of teaser trailer by September, October. Something. Even if it doesn't feature Superman himself, even if it's just a real traditional teaser trailer. So that'd be really exciting. But anyway, I wanted to come on and share those photos with you. So look, if you've enjoyed this video, if you want to see more about Superman, some news coming up, or if you want to follow me for fitness, cosplay, all that good stuff, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding, ding. Really looking forward to seeing you more at my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.